what's up everybody this is Des from New Jersey Productions and today I am bringing you a video talking about yesterday's episode of The Flash so it's going to be somewhat of a review video as well as some speculations that I have of what's going to be going on this season uh, moving forward so yesterday we got to finally see that a future version of Barry Allen happens to be Savitar now a lot of people expected this but even more so I've seen more theories and more talk about it being Ronnie Raymond um, from the moment I seen that theory, I shut it down. I was like, there's no way they're going to be Ronnie. We've even seen in a, another timeline that Ronnie was still had um, the firepower, uh, except the flames was blue and he even died then. So it was like, for me, it was no way that that theory was even feasible. But then I came across the video from a guy named Everything Flash who explains and breaks down why Barry Allen was actually Savitar. Now, I seen this video about two weeks ago. Um, and once I seen it, it was so convincing, even though he doesn't even speak during the video, it shows, it illustrates enough for me to believe the theory. And the theory pretty much goes as this, when um, Flash went back in time, well, when Flash created a time remnant in the last season to go against Zoom, to power up the Magnetar, um, that Flash, the time remnant, dies. Well, if you remember the way that he dies, well, a very similar situation when Barry Allen, the current history Barry Allen, um, went into the Speed Force the first time. If you remember, he broke he broke into pieces with all the blue lights and the energy and all of that stuff like that. Very similar to how the time remnant went away. Now, you may say he seemed like a stand-up guy if he got stepped in the tree. Speed Force, you know, why? what would make him become so evil? Well, as everything Flash explains in his video, um, similar to how Wally West was experiencing the, the situation with his mother passing away, would it not be easy to believe that Barry Allen would continuously relive his mother dying over and over and over and over again? And, um, yeah, I think that would be enough to drive anyone insane, insane to see your mother continuously be killed in the same way and you being powerless to do nothing about it. We all, we've seen in previous seasons how he's made irrational decisions because of his mother's death. And, you know, we kind of would like to believe that he came to peace with it. But that was the current time version of himself. At this point, the time remnant had already been sent back. Well, had been trapped in the speed force, sorry. And then once the Philosopher's Stone got thrown into the speed force, I think that's when um, Savitar actually became Savitar. And um, after living in the speed force for so many years, and seeing his mother continues to die, and then coming across the Philosopher's Stone and turning into the actual Savitar, uh, I I really love this theory a lot. I, I think it's the most feasible. But at the end of the day, you know, we, we are in a universe where, well, we're, we're all watching a TV show that has multiple universes throughout multiple timelines. So, you know, at any point in time, we can say that Savitar is uh, Barry Allen from any point in time or any universe uh, whatsoever. But no, he has to be from the current history, right? He has to be from our original Barry Allen's timeline because he lived our Barry Allen's life. That's how he was able, that's why he's always one step ahead of them as they um, made a point to point out in the show last night. The 2024 future, they're going to try to undo. So Caitlyn being locked up and Wally being crippled and Iris being dead, they want to undo all of that. So, um... I don't know, I kind of feel like Caitlyn at some point is going to become good again. I mean, of course, she's a, a stationary part of the team. She's going to become good or she's going to die. And I don't think they will kill off Caitlyn because she's very, she's pretty vital to the the Team Flash uh, team. So as Killer Frost did in Earth 2, I think she's going to have a change of heart and she's going to end up trying to help our Barry Allen fight against Savitar and that might be the actual change that we need but then again keep in mind we also have the flash the or the speedster with the purple lightning that had his face covered uh we don't know anything about him just yet so he can pop up again at any time like there then we still have um jesse quick she can come always come back to help out um while he's getting faster and, and smarter Every, every every episode, so I like the way it's going. I like the build-up to the final battle. We only have three episodes left, so I am anxious to see how it's going to turn out. I'm anxious to see what you guys think. So um, comment below you, your your theories and what do you think? Uh, who do you what 
future Flash do you think Savitar really is? Do you think there is a slim possibility that the 2024 20, uh, future Flash, the emo one, could be Savitar? And the only reason I say this is because in the comic books, uh, Flash loses Wally West and Iris West becomes crippled because he wasn't fast enough to save them. And that drives him insane. He eventually adopts a blue suit similar to the one that uh, uh, Savitar has in the show. He goes back in time to correct a lot of his mistakes. He ends up saving Wally and Iris. And at some point, he ends up going against the present day Flash of that era. So I think that shows that it may be him. Uh, a couple of years after 2024, he decides to try to go back in time and correct everything. But let's see how this plays out. So thank you for tuning in to NJP Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Everything Flash. He has a few great videos on his channel as well. Uh, make sure you check out some of our other videos. Subscribe if you like the content. Also give us a thumbs up and comment below. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure you stay current with us. Click the little bell so you get all of our new videos. And support myself and any other new YouTubers that you follow. As I don't know much about the ad band, but I see that it's definitely affecting um, many popular channels. So if you like people, make sure you interact with their channel. And have a great day. NJP out.